So, hey guys, Chauza here. And yeah, I got a fun little team here against Arena Hawkins. And it's going to be... Uh, it's we 4 Boa, pretty sure. <laughs> uh, on a... Uh, Arena Boa is just powerhouse units, which is pretty weird. But yeah, it worked out like this. And yeah, built on the idea I used for my rogue team against Arena Hawkins, which is you stall out stage 4 which you can do it's just that you get 10 turns of slot spine which you need to stall out as well so i used one of the more bulky quick captains in boa uh, the trash my very good luchi and the game kaido crew we remove most of the attack down you can just stall one turn to remove the remaining one And yeah, the plan here is that uh, stage 4 does not have any immunity, so every time they attack, we will proc Boa's captain ability, which gives them the Mero Mero status, so they can't attack us. <laughs> and this will easily let us stall out what we need. We also have Boa's captain ability, uh, super type ability in mind, which that's us heals, we have a lot of insurances here. And yeah, this ended up being a lot easier than expected. Uh, partly because we remove all the increased damage taken here. And yeah, that basically stops Hawking from doing any big damage. Like, like look at the damage here without increased damage taken. It's very minor compared to what it is with increased damage taken. So, with the right team, you can stall this out, like it's not free to stall this kind of damage, but yeah, will be no problem for Boa. Like, the Bind will be gone now, so we can just ignore it. And yeah, this will put the Mero Mero on Hawkins. And yeah, we can just keep stalling. We need to stall out all of the slot Bind, really. But yeah, we actually only need to stall until it's like 2. Then it will be removed when we move on to the next stage. Like usually it needs to be like stall until it's 1 to remove it. But yeah, Hawkins does have a post-death action here, which will help us remove the second turn as well. So yeah, we have so much HP, so I decided to start bursting as Hawkins down. Like I've not even had to use my super type special yet and you have to talk a bit about the other units here like uh, the idea here is that uh, Marco and Whitebeard does have support to reduce CD so we'll abuse that to use their special stage 5 this will give us enough HP and attack boost to survive and kill and then for the revive We'll be able to remove all the attack down with Boa and Luchi. We do need to stall one turn though to get rid of the poison orbs. And then we can use the Kaido Crew special just to get the extra damage we need to kill. And they also have the support to remove attack down before. So yeah, Boa will help us remove attack down. As well as Luchi. And Luchi will also give us boosts. And like Boa here will give the chain lock as well. So we'll have chain lock from Boa. Or boost from Marco, attack boost from Whitebeard. But so yeah, it's pretty easy to forget all of these supports, but yeah, they do exist. And yeah, these are the only real orbs we have, but both Whitebeard and Marco are powerhouse. And it is pretty cool to use both Whitebeard and Marco like this. It's a pretty weird gathering, really. Yeah, let's get as much damage as we can. Uh, yeah, there is Oracle damage, and you both have full HP and the damage reduction from Whitebeard, so we will take like no damage here from Hawkins. But yeah, we have no way to remove poison, so we need to stall one extra turn. And we'll just remove poison orbs from four units, like why not? And yeah, now I can use Boa to remove some attack down and give a chain lock. Rob the Luchi will also remove the remaining attack down and also give a or boost, I think it is. And Kaido Crew will give Call Affinity. 
But yeah, I did mess up by using Boa before Luchi since we don't get the ore boost now. But yeah, it's fine. We do overkill here. But Cavendish is nice just to ensure we get one matching ore. So yeah, that's the team. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.